over the last couple of years for me, I've um, been on a journey, uh, which everybody talks about these days, but I have been on a journey. Um, and in less than two years, I've had to face two very scary times in my life, uh, both of which I preferred <laughs> would never have been. But that's how it is. If it had been different, it would have been better. And I've also had to face two of my biggest fears, which I've got to say is cancer, due to my family history and um, my nursing background and various other factors. Um, and starting life on my own after Royce's death. After and tomorrow you've got an operation. Yeah, tomorrow I've got an operation. So how, how are you going to face that? Well, when I was first diagnosed, or when they told me, I mean, I've, I've got to say this, I've told everyone, not that I've ever been hit over the head with a frying pan, but I just felt, I, I, I just felt that, I just, because I had no idea I at all. Yeah. You never realise Jesus is all you need until Jesus is all you've got. And that just hit me, and I thought, that's where I am, that's exactly where I am. And I took that out of church with me, and I, I started to apply it into my life, realising that this, this was something that had really come to my heart that I had to follow. And it's, someone said, I don't know if this was you or not, Gary, but somebody said, it's not about having great faith in God, it's about having faith in a great God. Mm. And again, that just sort of turned things around for me. All I can say is that by taking on board those things, those two things, and applying them to my life, um, I've grown stronger spiritually to where I am today. And I've got to say, I've got to say, I never said, I did pray a lot, but I, but I never said to God, why me? Because I thought, I'm not going to say why me. But I've got to say, I said, why now? Because I just felt, you know, my life's getting back on track. I'm growing spiritually. I'm growing in every way. And why has this suddenly come? So I did ask, why, why now? From being diagnosed on the 19th of April to now, I, I've got to say, I, overall, I've had a peace and I'd, I've had a strength, and it's an inner strength guy, and it's got given. It must, I've had so much love, I know I have, surrounding me, and that love has, has carried me through, um, through people's prayers, through my Bible readings, because it's amazing how many times you turn to something. And it just, it's relevant. And, and you just think, wow, that, you know, that, that was relevant. Really, I'm just trusting. But I'm not going to say I've got a few little puddles and little jelly <laughs> wobbles in my tummy, because I have. But I, I, I just know that if I, if I trust, things will be right.